All right, so you finally got your bike running just the way you want. You're going for a tour, but whenever you're hitting any bumps or little on the road, you're hearing this tapping, 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 incessant tapping. Chances are it's probably happening right over here. When you get under the bike, you're gonna see that the center stand has this bolt here. This bolt should be visible. It should be covered by a little rubber stopper so that when this stand goes back, that bolt, that bolt, hits against the frame and, and stops with the rubber. And then when you balance and move it around, the rubber takes care of all the vibrations. But because you don't have it, that's why you have the incessant ticks. Okay. Now the solution for that ticking is very simple and inexpensive. You get it at any hardware store. Concave. No. Concave doorstop. You've seen them all over the place. You mount them onto your wall so then when your door handle comes, it hits it instead of the drywall. That's it. it, has three parts. The rubber, which you need, the brass, which you don't, and the metal stopper in the back, which, which you also need. That's gonna solve your problem, right there. Just time to customize. So you're just gonna take your 11 millimeter here and fully remove that bolt. It, it's awkward. When you're done, it should look like this. A bolt, nut, lock washer, flat washer, nut. Because of the size and thickness of the rubber stopper, we're actually gonna reconfigure the hardware. We're just gonna take the washer, place it inside. The bolt will go through the top, through that washer, out through the frame of the bike to a lock washer, and then this nut on the bottom. And that's all we're gonna need. But before we go to the bike, what we need to do is find a drill bit that's the same width as this bolt, this bolt. And now that we have our hole drilled through, we can put our washer in, followed by our bolt. Excellent. And now we're gonna put this through and we're gonna have the lock washer and then the nut on the underside. Let's get this installed. Quick pro tip for you here, guys. A standard 11 millimeter socket will just fit on the inside of this to catch the top of that bolt. But it's a little tight to slide it all the way down so you're still catching when you're tightening it at the very end. Spray a little WD-40 on the inside and then you'll be able to slide the socket all the way in to the very end. Leave it in there when you do the installation and when it's all tightened up and done, then take this guy out. Use a pair of pliers or vice grips if you have to. That's cool. But what you can do here is use your hands and the socket to tighten it down as much as you can. It's a really long bolt with a lot of threads. And hopefully when you get it, you know, semi-tight, then you'll be able to use this guy to give it the last few beans. Get in there. Okay. And when you're done, it should look something like that. All right, now that all the parts are installed, we're gonna put the side stand down. We're gonna put both our hands on the handlebars, push the bike forward, and we're gonna see where that center stand stops on its way up. All right, now we're slowly and gently gonna ease her forward. How's that looking? Now remember too, where this is sitting right now, after it works and wears itself in a bit, it's probably gonna have a quarter to a half inch more raise on it. So this one here, I think that might do it. Now that we have the center stand where we want it, we're gonna put the side stand up and just test for comparison where it sits. That looks pretty good. Now you know for sure that your chain is not gonna whack and be bouncing off your center stand. And we're not gonna have that annoying ticking on the bike while we're going over bumps or rough roads. Well, the mystery of the ticking has been solved. So glad that's repaired. It's gonna be so much more enjoyable to ride the bike now, especially on rough or bumpy roads. I hope this helped you solve your ticking mystery. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate you. We'll see you on the next one.